is on film mode. All right, so recording. All right, guys. So it's just a really quick update to explain what's happening. Um, first order of business: the competition is going to be extended. Uh, it's going to be extended for a week. So 6th of February is the final, final, that's it, no more end date, I promise. Because we've had a lot, well, a few entries into the competition after what we said was the old closing date. I mean, we have to own up and say we were a bit lax with it. We actually, the closing date came and went and we didn't really pay attention. But to be fair to the people that did in entered the competition after the closing date, we thought we just extend it. People are still entering it. We'll give a final closing date on the sixth. That will be the end. And once that's done, there will be one winner. Um. So. So the other thing is, um, just I put a bulletin up the other day. If we didn't make it clear before, we apologise profusely. But. At the moment, we can only sell to those in the UK. We will never be able to sell Warhammer of any kind, any Games Workshop related product, in boxes to the US. We may at some point in the future be able to ship out into the EU. We're not doing that. At the moment, we haven't really sold anything, so we do need to. I mean, we've sold a few things here and there, but not a steady thing. So we'd really need to concentrate on where we can focus on the most, and that is in the UK because we're based in the UK. There's no preference or anything like that, it's literally to do with our location. Um, obviously that's Games Workshop stuff. If we paint Games Workshop, Privateer Press, any miniature, or any terrain that we've made by ourselves out of you know, styrofoam or whatever, we can sell that wherever we want. And it's something we will be doing. We have to be able to do that. It's a global world, global economy. We have to make sure that we can you know, get our stuff out there to everybody. But the point is, at the moment, we have to concentrate on the UK. We have to concentrate on sales in the UK. And we want as many of you to become customers because we're not, I mean, it's not a joke. This will be our livelihoods once you know I'm out of uni and everybody else is settled down. This is going to be our jobs. So we want to make as many of you customers as we can, starting with the UK. Once we can, we will get our stuff out to the EU, which means eventually we will be able to give Warhammer, uh, Games Workshop related box stuff over to the EU. We'll be able to ship it out there, but not right now. And then eventually terrain everywhere, globally. It'll be everywhere. Um, so, our store, if you did manage to get onto it, I noticed a few people have, you know, we've had a couple sales, but that's been generally people we knew before we set up the store. So they've gone onto the website and bought it, they haven't just like come around and we've given it to them and they've given us cash, which we can do, but that wasn't how it was done. What we have heard back is that the store looks a bit weird. It doesn't, you know, it doesn't really pull people in. You go on to it, you're probably thinking, I'm not going to trust this because of the way it's presented. So we're in the middle of updating it. We're updating it ourselves. We're, all three of us here at Ultimate Terrain are averagely okay on computers. You know, we know what we're doing most of the time. So, and we haven't really had time to do it ourselves, to do a proper job on it, but we will be updating the store and we'll be making it look really good. We want it to be a, a place where you guys can tell what you want, find it, and then purchase it. So, um, our 10% discount is still going to be something we do all the time. We want to be able to make sure you guys are getting a discount and you guys are getting a fair deal on the stuff that we sell. Um, because we've been updating it and we've been in the process of updating it, I had said before on the bulletin that the store would still be open. It's now got to the stage where we, we're really close to finishing the updates, but because it's at that stage, we have to shut down the store because of this website that we use to host the store. We need to change everything on it. So it will be closed over the next couple of days. Um, 
you guys will have our emails. So if you can, if you wanted something in the next couple of days, and you know the store will be closed, email us, and we'll we'll keep it aside, and we'll make sure we've got it to you as soon as the store's open. Um, and obviously you have to pay once the store is open, but you know we'll we'll keep it aside for you. We'll email back to you and just say let us know when you want it. Um, apart from that, we will be making a genuine proper update. We've changed some of the stuff around in the studio. Um, we've had you know a few things going on. Obviously, I'm still in uni and stuff like that. Um, all of us have had issues to be getting on with. But we will be doing a proper update on the studio, a proper studio update on everything we've been doing um, in the next few days or weeks, maybe. Uh, and that will be it for now. But uh, as always, cheers for supporting us and uh, please check out the store.